Congratulations! You now completed the screening process and landed that virtual assistant job you wanted. Now, what's next? In this video, I'll share with you what to expect on the first five days with your client, the five goals you should have, and five additional tips from VAs and VA staffing experts. If you're new here, welcome to the 24-7 VA YouTube channel. I'm Anna, and every month I talk about anything and everything about the virtual assistant world. So if you're a new VA or trying to dip your toes into this world, then this channel is for you. Remember to stay updated with our new uploads by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell. Now let's get started. Note that we've covered the basics, so it's now time to talk about what you should expect on your first few days with your client. What's important to remember is don't rush yourself. Everyone needs time to figure things out, and this applies to you too. No one, not even your client, is expecting you to know everything about what you need to do on your first few days at work. Nor do they expect you to know everyone in the organization. These things take time, and you usually learn them as you go along on your VA journey with your client. On your first few days, you can expect to learn the following through your client. Number one, an overview of the business. Depending on how involved you will be in other facets of the business, this will take up to an hour or so of your first few days as a virtual assistant. You're not expected to remember every detail, but you should take notes to help you recall and have something to look back on when you need to. Number two, introduction to the rest of the team. If your client has a team of VAs or internal employees, your first few days are going to be probably used to get you acquainted with the rest of the group. This might be an excellent time to request a contact list or make one of your own by taking down their names, functions, and contact details. Also, remember to ask who you should report to or talk to in case your immediate su uh, superior is not available. If you're working with a remote staffing agency like 24-7 VA, you'll usually be assigned an account manager to help you navigate your VA journey and to ensure that all the information you need to do your job well is accessible. Number three, your tasks and KPIs. Make sure you know which are the priority tasks. Remember that clients hire VAs to take care of two or three pain points or bottlenecks. Uh, it can be maybe an admin task, such as taking care of an email inbox that is manageable, uh, to customer support, answering customer uh, inquiries via email, social media, or the customer service hotline. Your client may give you a list of tasks that will be delegated to you, but make sure you align with them and sort that list from top priority to least priority. Having this list will help you manage your time better, leading to better productivity and output. Number four, your expected work schedule. It's essential for you to know your expected work schedule even before you accept the role. However, you still need to document and understand how your work schedule will be monitored, whether it's through a time tracking tool or an end of the day report or both. Some clients prefer their VA to work during the same hours as them, while others allow their VAs to work during their most productive hours. The most important thing here is that the VA gets the work done. During your first five days, make sure that you allow yourself enough rest before your shift. Make sure to set up an alarm or two um, if you're a heavy sleeper. The first five days with a client should be enough to help your body clock adjust to the agreed upon work hours. Number five, training on the tools and software you will be using. Making sure that you get the proper training on the tools, templates, and software that you will be using should be a top priority to you and your client. The effectiveness of this training and your ability to absorb all this information will highly influence your productivity and your contribution to the team in the coming days, weeks, and hopefully years. Now, those five things I've mentioned before are the ones that uh, clients walk their VA through. But it's also up to you to make your first five days as productive as possible. And everyone has their own interpretation of what productive means, 
but I suggest aiming for these five personal goals on your first five days with a client. Number one, identify which tasks should be labeled as priority, time sensitive, or both. This can help you build your work routine and ensure that you are on top of those tasks that require more attention or are considered high value or high priority. Number two, build a daily work routine. What is the first thing you do when you log in? Do you go to your inbox and review unchecked emails? Uh, do you check all company tools are working at the start of your shift? Or do you go straight to your team's project management platform? This will uh, largely depend on the nature of your tasks and work hours. And at the end of your shift, what's the last thing you do? Is it swiping your to-do list or creating a to-do list for the next day? Or is it submitting your end of the day report, the last thing you do? Again, this will depend on the nature of your work and your client's requirements. Number three, create a document with all the tasks you have done and how to do them. Initially, this can serve as your own SOP. And once you have fine-tuned this document, you can share it with your client. And once uh, it gets further reviewed, it can be used by your team. I'm sure your client will appreciate your efforts on this one. Number four, become more familiar with the tools and software your client uses. By the end of day number five, you're not expected to be an expert, but you should be able to navigate any tools and software uh, with minimal help, thanks to your step-by-step -step task document. Number five, get to know your client better. This means knowing the business and the company culture a little more. You should also have a better idea of your client's management style and productive work windows. Try and find common times when they can be available for quick alignments or performance reviews. Now that we've discussed what you could expect from the first few days with your client, let me share some tips to ensure you're off to a good start. Number one, be on time. As one of our customer support officers says, 80% of your success with a client is just showing up on time. Being on time is a small but sure way to show professionalism and respect for your client and co-workers time. If you're scheduled to start your first day of orientation at 9 a.m. Eastern time, make sure all systems are running at least 15 minutes before. Number two, test your tools. When it comes to your internet connection, computer, headphones, microphone, and backup tools, it's best to test them the day prior and an hour before your official start. That way you have enough time to troubleshoot just in case of any technical issues. And here's to hoping there are none. Number three, be ready to take notes. Unless you have perfect memory, it's best to be prepared to take notes. Whether you do this digitally or the old school using your trusty pen and notepad, taking notes helps. Aside from the onboarding session recordings, you have notes to get back to for when you feel stumped during your shift. Number four, get a head start by researching well before your first day. Even during the interview stage, try to get as much information as possible on the tools and softwares that you will be using once you do get the role. This way you can do your primary research on these tools and look up tutorials online. Keep in mind that this in no way will replace your training and onboarding with your client. Instead, it's an extra credit or leg up for you on your first day. You will be able to follow training much quicker by taking time to do your own research. Number five, don't be afraid to ask questions. As a new VA, you're not expected to know and understand everything, especially during your first five days. Use these first few days to clarify and ask questions. Remember to take note of the answers to those questions. This can help you recall things better. Every VA or every individual actually has a different learning curve. The best you can do is to avoid expecting yourself to learn everything from the get-go and to have a curious mind to ask all those questions you need answered. As a remote worker, it's important to establish open communication. If you're struggling or don't quite understand something, don't struggle in silence. 
bring it up to your client or if you are working with a remote staffing agency like 24 7 va contact your customer support officer to help you navigate the situation and eventually move forward so that's it i just shared the five expectations five goals and five va tips from experts to help you navigate the first five days with your client I hope you find this content helpful and that your first five days with your clients are both productive and encouraging. And speaking of not being afraid of asking questions, if you have any for the 21st MBA team or me, I will read you here in the comments. And if you like the video, of course, hit that like button. Remember to hit the notification bell so you can get a notification every time we upload a video. Subscribe to the 21st MBA YouTube channel for more VA tips. See you next time. Bye-bye.